Today we will learn how to implement Video.js in our Rails applications. Video.js is a web video player built from the ground up for an HTML5 world. It supports HTML5 video and media source extensions. So we will learn how to implement this framework in our Rails application. To begin, we first create our Rails application. And then we run a simple, we'll generate a simple scaffold. Using Rails generate scaffold article, we'll say title and content. We'll also run Rails active storage install. With that, we can run Rails DB prepare. And this will create our database and run our migrations for us. Can then move on to our article here and we can add as one attached video let me go to our articles controller i can update our strong parameters and add a video next we head over to our form we want the users to be able to submit a video attachment here. So we'll create that here. We'll change text field to file field for this and change content to video. And with that, we can update our route, which I've done here already. Add the, the root to articles. And we're on real serve. So with that, you can see, I click on new article. So we can say first article, there was some random content here. I will add a simple video here. So we can do create article. And there we go. But you can see our video doesn't display here. So we can go to our show page. And right about here, you can use a video tag element. You can go ahead and do a source for the video. Now source. We will use Rails Blob Blob Path and we'll use article dot video and then we can close this. So if we come back here and we refresh it and see our video displays here. We click on right click. You can see it's we can click play. So our next step is to actually add video JS to our application. We don't want to use the standard HTML video player. So We'll use import math to add this dependency there. So we simply do bin slash import map pin video dot js. And you can see it pins a lot of dependencies for us, it pins a lot of um, JavaScript libraries for us. But we'll really only really use one here. So if we head over to import map, you can see there are a lot of things right here. But it's this we'll be using this video JS. So we can head over to our stimulus controller, the default one that is created. We'll delete this right here. We don't need it. I think we should also rename this from hello controller to let's call it video controller. 
first we do import video js from video.js and we head back to our show page and we can wrap this in a data controller this data controller we'll call it video because the name has to match with our stimulus controller uh, div our next step to get everything running up is to add the CSS the style sheet for video JS. So now that we're plotting that, we go over to application.html.erb. Right about here, we can paste it in. And when we look at the documentation here, we can see the tags. You can see it needs an ID, it needs a class name, controls, poster. We can add a poster. So we can simply just copy this right here. And we head over back to our application. We head over to our show page. And on our video right here, can add our class, our controller, our poster, and our data setup. The data setup is very important. This is needed for VideoJS to work properly. So if we come back here and we refresh, you can see our controller has, um, VideoJS has taken over here. You can see there's a new, a new media layout all over it. If we click on it, you can see this is not the standard. This is the VideoJS player working right here. And VideoJS is very, very configurable. For instance, every element here can be edited using CSS or whatever we used to use. You can click on inspect and you can see there's a span here with the class which describes the placeholder on the bottom. We could we could edit this any way that we please. We could use, we could customize it and make it appealing in whatever way that we want it. You can see in there, that will be hidden. So, if we do not wish to do this ourselves, VideoJS also comes with certain th um, themes that we can use to style our application. If we head over to GitHub page for it, VideoJS slash themes, you can see them here. And it, the documentation provides the steps you can use so we can select them. All we need to do is include the desired CSS. For instance, it's fine to see this forest, the city. We'll use forest here. So we copy this, head back to our application, and we add it to our header. Then we come back right here, and if you see, it says that we should update our class right here. So instead of just having a video JS, you can add the theme. And we can copy this. And what theme did we pick? I picked forest. So we come back here. And we change this to forest. So if we refresh it, you can see it's a totally different player right here. Everything's styled differently.